Welcome back to the Discussions with David. As many of you know, Sustainable Med serves in over 20 different countries throughout Africa and Asia. And many of these countries are places, I mean, which are beautiful and incredible, but are impoverished nations. And so as we serve in these places, it's inevitable that things will happen. So what is our response when disasters happen, when there's floods, famines, other things like that? Like, what do we do? Now, there's many other great organizations around out there that are very well suited and excellent at doing disaster responses, like Matthew 25, Samaritan's Purse, Convoy of Hope, World Vision, and they do those things extremely well. But the question is, what is our response? So let's look at a recent example. At 2 a.m. on May 5th, uh, several communities near Yeseni, Rwanda, were hit with devastating floods. And these floods were so extreme that they actually diverted rivers and poured into communities where over 130 people died and thousands of people were left homeless. So what do we do about that? And what is our response? So for us, while we know we can't do everything, we care deeply about those that exist in these communities and those that are partners of Sustainable Med. And so when this happened, we began you know, really with our, our kind of five-step process as we began to evaluate what should our response be to a crisis like this? You know, first we had, you know, our leaders and our partners go in and assess what's going on and what's happening. What's a local response and what is being taken care of? And next we can determine, you know, who uh, from these communities are partners, you know, of Sustainable Med, uh, people that either are our partners directly or um, in the communities where our partners are serving. And third, like, what are the gaps in the services? You know, where are things that are not being met, you know, by, you know, many of the great uh, either governments or organizations trying to provide help? What else is, is, is uh, remaining that's needed? You know, and fourth, you know, uh, based upon what the existing kind of needs would be, what's a budget and what's a plan for actually executing that, that, that plan? And then um, lastly, to go and respond quickly. So when these disasters happen, we want to know that, you know, that uh, while we're not an organization that supplies, you know, great amounts of relief, we are uh, committed to the people and the communities where Sustainable Med serves. And so because they're not numbers, they're not just values, we want them to know that they're deeply loved, first, of course, by Jesus, but also by this organization. And so when we encounter those things, we respond in those ways. And so for this specific instance, um, our partners in Rwanda were able to identify 60 families that were in deep need. And these families, I mean, that you know, had lost their homes, had lost so many of their different kind of belongings. One of the biggest things they were facing, you know, that wasn't being kind of met, you know, was a need actually for beds and for bedding. So as their homes are being rebuilt, I mean, these things were things they would have to purchase. But as well in the churches that were so gracious to, to house them and feed them, uh, didn't have enough kind of beds and blankets to kind of meet the needs for these families. So this is a way in which we could provide some, some immediate care for the partners that are really suffering. So as we mourned with them, you know, the loss of their homes, their belongings, their friends, their families, this was one way in which we could step in and allow them to see how much God loves them. You know, but... There are disasters that happen throughout the world, but there's also things that happen, you know, every single day. And one thing that happens, you know, all throughout the year and all throughout the different countries, I mean, are there different people that, that die? Just recently, one of our uh, great friends as well, the supporters of Sustainable Med, Dr. Mark Strain, passed away. And for us, it really began another part of our process as we kind of face different disasters. You know, is that when these um, we, when people face these these different losses, we want to make sure that we not only mourn with them, you know, as they face these losses, but also do two very important things. You know, first, you know, is that we pray for them deeply, and second, is that we be present. So one thing we've committed to as an organization is that when these things happen, you know, is that if we're if we're in a place and if it's possible for us to be present during funerals, that we would take the time, regardless of how inconvenient it would be to make sure that we're present for people. Because it's not just about, you know, the people, it's not about numbers, it's not about bank accounts, but it's rather about how important people are and how deeply they're valued. And so these are one of the things as we kind of look back on, like, how do we respond to disasters? Like, this is kind of what 
our processes for sustainable med actually look like. We can't do everything. Um, you know, we wish we could, but that's not certainly our role. But we try to do everything that we can. So as we kind of wrap up for, for today, I really want to ask kind of two questions, which you can respond to, and the links are the questions below. You know, number one is, you know, what can we do better when it comes to actually disaster relief within the roles of what the organization does? And number two, like, what is God calling you to do uh, to respond? You know, what, as you've heard these stories, if you've seen some of these videos and pictures, like, what are you supposed to do about that? So uh, as we kind of wrap things up, uh, next time we'll be actually be shooting live in Ghana. I'll be joining our wonderful partners in both Ghana and then uh, also seeing some new partners in Togo. So have a chance to actually do this on location. Until then, thank you and God bless you. Oh.